We're here again today with Captain McQuarrie. How are you doing today? Great, Chad. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, modern firearm season is in. Tell me a little bit about what a hunter, whether a first time hunter or someone who hadn't hunted since last season, may need to think about before hitting the woods. Every year before going to the woods, you should review your hunting guide. You can do that by picking up a guide at a store or you can get online on the Fish and Wildlife website and review it. Some of the things we always try to remind everybody about, make sure you take a pen to the woods with you because once you successfully harvest an animal, you are required to mark your hunter harvest log and also make sure that you wear your hunter orange. Number one priority is to always be safe. If you, if you harvest a deer and you're dragging a deer out of the woods, man, you gotta have that on because that's, that's the most dangerous time, isn't it? You're exactly right because a lot of times it's during low light conditions and you wanna have that visibility so other hunters can see you. Another thing that you need to remember is your statewide deer permit does cover four deer. You can purchase an additional deer permit. Now, don't be confused because the additional deer permit can be used for an antlerless or antlered animal, but you're only allowed to kill one antlered animal a year. And a little different if you're a turkey hunter, and this may be your first time deer hunting, is that uh, you know with turkey, you're allowed one turkey per day, regardless of take. But with deer, as long as it's allowed by the zone, you can take multiple deer. That's exactly right, Chad. As long as the zone allows it, you can kill more than one deer a day. Anything else that a hunter needs to think about or consider before hitting the woods? Also remember this year, when you do successfully harvest an animal and you tell a check it, you're gonna be asked, is the antler spread greater than or less than 11 inches? So you may wanna take that measuring tape along the field with you. Who are required to have hunter safety courses? You can start taking your hunter safety course when you turn nine, but you have to have it before you're 12. If you're born on or before January 1st, 1975, and you're not licensed exempt, you are required to have a hunter education card. Well, thank you so much for coming out here and giving us the rundown, and I hope everyone has a very safe and productive gun season. Yes, sir, thank you.